Crew cab dually. Can't wait for Dave to get that thing up and running. That's going to make for a really cool tow vehicle going to the racetrack and all kinds of good stuff like that. It's going to be a 454 big block. I'm not sure what tranny. I'm, he's probably going to put a turbo 400 in it because that's what he has. But I implore him to put a 4L80E in it so he can still have the strength of the turbo 400 but have the overdrive out on the highway but you know he's old school so i doubt that's gonna happen and of course he's got all his other farm truck toys his big lifted four-wheel drive is i don't even know what year this thing is 78 camaro i was gonna give you guys a quick rundown before it got too dark on these Quantico cylinder heads. I ran them up to the uh, ran them up to the car wash to kind of clean them off a little bit. If you guys can see those ports, I can get a hold of this thing without cutting myself. Got you looking down in the intake ports. I have not final CC'd this yet. These are just been to the car wash and cleaned up. No, you know, no CCing done yet. I had just done the final texture work on these ports to get the finish I wanted on the intake side and then polish up the exhaust side if you guys can see that might be able to see it better like this nope it's too dark you don't get to see my polish work may have to make a supplemental video to this one so you guys can see the polish on these exhaust ports. Let me see if I can turn it around towards the sun. What's left of the sun. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get a little bit more video to splice into these. Because there, I mean, you can almost see it there. They're not mirror polished, but they're darn close. I'll get a little bit more video there at the house with some light where I can make it look all glamorous. I'll bounce some light through the ports. And that way you guys can kind of get a better idea of what you're looking at. Because I think I've mentioned before in videos... Uh, the best way to see heads and to make them look their best is with light. You play with the light. You bounce the light through the ports. But, I mean, this is just an example of what you'd see on the back of somebody's truck out in the country with the sun going down behind the trees. So, But we uh, we had come out here to do all that work. Or uh, Andy's truck because he's having all kinds of problems with the uh, stupid uh, electronics on his race truck. Aren't do it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, and you have we have to get it fixed because we're supposed to go racing next Wednesday night up at US 36. So anyway, I'm gonna do a short pause on this video and then I'll do some more in depth. Uh, lighting and appropriate shots in the next scene there's a shot inside the exhaust port from the valve the 
got a little bit of sunlight to help me out there right as I was fixing to go back in the garage and see what the progress report was on the wiring situation. I went to put the head back in the car and I put it up on in and thought, well, that's a pretty good look. Might get a few shots of that on, on Vidya. Stay tuned. There'll be a little bit more coming.